So what are we going to be reporting on today? We've got some construction pictures from Plops Landy Pan's 2021 Mac Extreme Spinning Roller Coaster. Hello there guys, my name is Chris Chad Dogster Ball, Ball Built for Theme Park News. Before we get started, big shout outs go to Falco Flair, Brian Galeas, Tom Berry, Theme Park Kieran, Theme Park Thrills, and also Michael Jameson Comedy. Now if you want to shout out in our next video, please comment down below and the next recorded video will be your shout out. Stay tuned across all the videos just in case your shout out pops up. So don't worry if it comes on, don't come on the next one. Just keep an eye out because it will come up on the on a video soon. Now Make sure you stay tuned later on because we've got a construction update from Flamingoland's 10 Looping Coaster. As well as staying tuned over the next few days where we're going to have more news updates and stuff like that. So I can't wait to share all of that with you, excuse me. <laughs> and also make sure you go and watch all of our videos over the past few days and also the last year. Obviously 2nd of November has been and gone now. Uh, and that means this channel has posted the first video a year ago, which is absolutely crazy. I can't believe it was a year ago now since we passed that first video, since we uploaded it. Uh, about Sadra Energy Land, yeah, someone actually commented. Um, it was either it was on Instagram, I believe it was. Uh, shout out whoever you knew you are. Um, but he commented saying that he saw no other news updates on this, and he sort of uh, found mine. So. You know, I thought that was really uh, touching, very emotional. Um, the fact that I was one of the first ones to post this news. So, big thank you to whoever that was. And yeah, just it's just weird that it's been, been a year now. So, this theme park news update then is from Plopsalan Dipan. And this is on their 2021 roller coaster. Now, I've said in the past on previous news updates on this, Belgium is my dream trip for 2021. Wolby Belgium's investing in a new Intamin mega coaster and Plopsland is investing in a Mac Extreme Spinner. So both projects, very much fantastic. Looks brilliant, uh, and I can't wait for this. Now we do have some more details in terms of statistics, more rumored themes, uh, the name will stay as it is for now, and I'll tell you why the other themes might not be it, and may be the theme of the ride as well, in a little bit. And also, Studio 100 is not completely excluded. So I've got all those details to come, and I'm gonna say all these details, in sort of in the background of showing you guys some construction pictures on site taken from a good friend of the channel uh, called Plopsa Updates. They're on Instagram, they're on YouTube. Big shout out to Plopsa Updates for giving me these construction pictures uh, to share with you today. Now he did say on Instagram that he'd really give us construction updates so whenever he can. So big thank you to Plopsa Updates for that. So it means that we can give you guys here on YouTube some regular construction updates on the new ride. So let's show you those construction pictures now on your screen now. Fan Dabby Dorsey. And let's have a look then at this article uh, with the brand new details. The article itself is actually from uh, Plopsa Fans. So big shout out to them and the news article. I'm going to put that link in the description down below as well so you can have a read of it yourself. So the Plopsa CEO, Steve van der Kerkhoff, in conversation with Plopsa Fans and Loopings, a very good news source, very reliable. Um, has said that this will be the fastest roller coaster in the park, reaching a top speed of 95 kilometers an hour, becoming faster than the 90 kilometers an hour Anubis the ride. Temporary named Robo Spinner. However, the uh, theme, the options for the theme include robots as well as vampires and horror. A Studio 100 theme is less likely, but not excluded. So I won't bank on Studio 100 being any other theme for this ride, but I would keep it in mind just in case. Uh, now, the two trains of the extreme spinning coaster in Pops on Japan may have the same design as the Time Traveller trains because uh, Pops are reached an agreement with Silver Dollar City on this. Um, of course, we also know that we're going to be seeing uh, five inversions, the highest point of around 35 metres, which was mentioned on the document, but five inversions is, you know, a hell of a lot. Um, this, will, this will actually be five metres lower and 40 meters kilometer, kilometer an hour um, less fast than the Plopsaland. So Time Traveler, Silver Dollar Cities, uh, will actually be um, smaller and slower than this one. So that's very exciting. Uh, that was mentioned in the article as well. 15 million euros for this project, and of course it will take place in the 2021 season. 
So I'm really excited for this project. I think it's going to be fantastic. Again, massive shout out to Popster Updates for sharing those construction pictures with us. Um, all credit for those images goes to here, and I'm sure we're going to get some more construction updates when footers go up, track goes in place, and stuff like that. Now, of course, one big thing to take from this is that Popster Updates said to me that he thinks that uh, it's not confirmed, but he thinks that the track will go up uh, for 2020 and open in 2020. And then the full themed version with the theming, etc., will open in 2021. Now, of course, Pop Sand have gone through that cycle with the Boom Stamp Jazz into Dino Splash. Opened it partly this year, and then the fully themed version will open next year along with the new Plopsa Hotel. Now, I hope that's not the case because I like a fully finished product. However, we'll have to keep our eyes on that just to see if Pop Sand Japan announced something about that. So, just a few things to sort of take in mind faster and taller than Time Traveler. Fastest coaster in the park, uh, around five kilometers an hour faster than Anubis the ride, the Gerstar launch, uh, which is their other significant extreme attraction in the park. Uh, so this is definitely gonna be one of the big, this is gonna be the biggest coaster in the park. So I'm really excited for this. I hope you guys are excited as well. Not making any promises, but Belgium, like I said, is my dream trip in a couple of years time. So I wanna try and get out there for the openings of at least one of these coasters. Probably the Plopsalam one, just for the case that I think it sounds a bit more exciting to me personally. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on Plopsalam Japan. Again, a massive shout out to Plops Updates for those construction pictures and updates. More will come in due course. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and theories. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube update. And for now guys, my name is Coast Shell, Kill in the Coast of Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.